hat, sunglasses, Pepsi, notes, sources, thick skin, check. You already know. Let's go. Golden Blooded is a college football YouTube channel for entertainment. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let's get into our next college football video. Is it time for Jimbo Fisher to come on home to West Virginia? Because, let's face it, the experiment at Texas A&M, not doing all that great. Yes, he's recruiting at a high level. Last year, bought himself the number one overall recruiting class. This year, the number 13 recruiting class. Texas A&M most certainly recruits at a high level. But he hasn't done all that great at Texas A&M in his five years so far. 9-4, and four, then 8-5, and five, then yes, a great 2020 season, 9-1, and one, almost getting to the playoffs, then 8-4, and four, then 5-7. and seven. Texas A&M fans say, no, he's still a good head coach. Remember that national championship he had over that Florida State? Nah, that doesn't count anymore, okay? That's long in the past. He'll have that national championship forever, but right now, he's not a very good head coach. Texas A&M extended him. He's making a crap, crap, crap ton of money. But if you compare his record to Kevin Sumlin's record at this point in his career, Kevin Sumlin actually has a better record. And now the transfer portal is being flooded, flooded by former Texas A&M recruits. 23 recruits headed to the transfer portal this year with a total NIL worth of $1,745,000. Now that's just a roundabout estimation by 247. The amount is actually probably higher, so it's even worse than we think. He's a pretty good defensive mind. That's that's the key. Remember that as we go forward in this video. But this year, Texas A&M averaged 22.8 points per game, which is 102nd. He's not cutting the mustard, and he won't let somebody have full control of the offensive situation. Who does that sound like? Yeah, it kind of sounds like Neil Brown, doesn't it? But on the defense, they only allow 21.2 points per game, which is 29th. So here's my pitch to Jimbo Fisher. I do not want him as a head coach at West Virginia. That is not what I'm saying. But in an interview earlier in the year, he did say home is home. He likes it where he's at. He's making a crap ton of money. He will stay there as long as they keep him. But he says home is home. So if Texas A&M does let him go, he could head back to West Virginia as the new defensive coordinator. Not the head coach, but the defensive coordinator. That would be exactly what West Virginia would need. Jimbo Fisher as the defensive coordinator at West Virginia would be a home run hire because the dude can recruit, so he will be able to attract those big-time recruits, and he's great on the defensive side of the ball. And what has West Virginia been struggling over the past two years with? Defense. Defense, defense, defense. Yeah, the offense wasn't great before this year. We thought I had it figured out with Graham Harrell. We did for the first four games. We were top 25 offense. But then, of course, Neil Brown had to meddle in that offense, and it plummeted ever since. And Graham Harrell knew that he would never have full control, so he bolted a lateral move at best for the offensive coordinator position over there at Purdue. So, yes, we do have to figure out our offense, but we also have to figure out a very, very bad defense and Jimbo Fisher, I do think Jimbo Fisher would be the guy to figure it out. Listen, not working out as a head coach, that's fine and dandy. He's a West Virginia guy. He would love for West Virginia to have success. Great defensive mind. West Virginia would have an elite defense year after year under Jimbo Fisher. This would be a no-brainer. West Virginia, are you listening to me? If Texas A&M does indeed get rid of Jimbo Fisher, don't hire him as a head coach, but hire him as a defensive coordinator. That is the exact recipe that West Virginia needs to follow if, if, if Texas A&M ever does let him go. Now, that is a lot of money, but Texas A&M has the money to buy that buyout out. Just something to think about because, yes, Jimbo Fisher is a pretty good defensive-minded coach. And if you look at his health since he's been at Texas A&M, he doesn't look very good now. Remember, he's only in his early 50s. He's aged significantly. It looks like he's approaching his 70s, and he's gained a bunch of weight. And this is not me trash-talking the guy. This is me saying it looks like he's under a ton of stress over at Texas A&M, and it is affecting his health. It is time for him to leave that situation. Texas A&M, uh, sorry, it's time for you to cut ties. You need to let him go. And for his safety's sake, he needs to go and come back home, relax, put out a good defense for West Virginia, and we would be satisfied with having a good defense and going 8-4, and 9-3, and three, maybe a 10-win season from time to time. You would have it made in the shade at West Virginia as the defensive coordinator. That just popped in my head, and I had to do a video about it because there's always a silver lining 
over any problem or situation. And right now, the biggest problem for Texas A&M is they just can't win football games because Jimbo Fisher keeps his hands and fingers in the offense just like Neil Brown does at West Virginia. So if he can't do that, they need to let him go. And the silver lining for him, number one, he's a rich son of a gun. And number two, he can head back home and have it made in the shade and relax and be the defensive coordinator of West Virginia and be the hero of the defense. Think about it, Jimbo Fisher. It doesn't have to be the head coaching spot. You would be just fine as the defensive coordinator at West Virginia. There's nothing wrong with that. So y'all let me know in the comments section. If you're a West Virginia fan, what do you think about the idea of Jimbo Fisher coming to West Virginia as the defensive coordinator, not the head coach? Number two, do you think he'll last much longer over there at Texas A&M? That's all I got for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.